Hey guys, Arlisha here and welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about this sketchbook with you. As I flip through it, you may notice that some of this art looks familiar. I've actually been working in this one quite a bit recently and this is the Etcher Labs Cold Press sketchbook. This one is made with 100% cotton paper. It's 220 GSM, which refers to the weight or the thickness of the paper. So it's a little bit thinner than a more standard 300 GSM watercolor paper. And the sketchbook does come in multiple sizes, A4, A5, and A6, and also comes in hot press or cold press. I've been following Etcher Labs for a long time. They've made a lot of different types of art supplies from carrying cases to um, watercolor palettes and pencil cases and all kinds of fun stuff. And the company often focuses on making art supplies by artists for artists. Now they did send me the sketchbook for free, but they actually didn't even ask for a review or anything. They just asked if I wanted to try out the sketchbook and they were talking to me via Instagram so they didn't even mention anything about making a YouTube video or anything like this so I'm totally making this review of my own free will and I'm not an affiliate or anything so I'm not making any money on um, anything about you guys purchasing this sketchbook so anyway I mostly just wanted to share it with you because I really really like it and it's been quite a while since I've talked about a sketchbook. Part of that being because I'm actually really picky when it comes to watercolor sketchbooks. I have specific things that I want watercolor paper to do for me, and I have specific things that I want sketchbooks to do for me, and it's not very often that those two things overlap. So when I'm looking for a sketchbook, I want a place where I can explore and experiment and make art that doesn't necessarily have to be good. So I usually need space to make messes and to try different things and have whole pages filled up with stuff that isn't necessarily good or pretty or very nice to look at. So I've really enjoyed sketchbooks like the Canson XL Mixed Media Sketchbook in the past because it's cheap and I like the paper texture, but then when it comes to what I'm looking for in watercolor paper, I usually end up going with more expensive paper that will take a lot of layers and will accommodate the way I like to work, which is usually sketching right on my watercolor paper. So I'm generally asking more from my watercolor paper than I am of a sketchbook. So those two areas don't usually overlap very often, but I think that this sketchbook offers the best of both worlds for me, for what I'm looking for out of a sketchbook, but also opens up a world that I hadn't really considered or thought about a ton. So the paper in this sketchbook is 100% cotton, and I really like the cold press texture here. It's not quite as textured as like an Arches cold press paper, but it has more tooth and more grit to it than, say, the Canson XL watercolor paper, which is a little bit more smooth, and I'm just mentioning that as um, a comparison that people might be pretty familiar with. It has enough texture to the paper that I can enjoy the features of cold press paper when I'm painting, but not so much that it's difficult for me to sketch on. It's still it's still just smooth enough that I can sketch loosely and I don't feel that my pencil is slowed down too much because I really rely on being able to make fluid pencil marks when I'm sketching. So it works really nicely for sketching and I've enjoyed just creating sketches in it. And when it comes to painting, I found that the sketchbook works really nicely for gouache and watercolors. The paint spreads nicely on the paper, and if your paper is wet while you're working, those layers will kind of blend together and turn into one solid flat wash. But when the paper is dry, the brush strokes are unique and distinct and very visible. You can find the Etcher Mixed Media sketchbooks, I believe, on Amazon perhaps, but when it comes to these specific watercolor sketchbooks, I've only been able to find them on the Etcher Labs website and also only in packs of three, which means that purchasing the sketchbook is more of an investment as it comes out to somewhere around $25 or so per sketchbook. This is the A4 size, so it's the largest one, and I believe that a pack of three sketchbooks is however much I'm putting up on the screen right now because I don't quite remember. 
So they're definitely not a super cheap sketchbook, which can be a little bit deterring for people who are looking for a loose, relaxed space where they're not necessarily worried about um, wasting paper. So I can understand how that might be a deterrent for some people, but I've really, really been enjoying this. It's been a long, long, long time since I've made paintings in a sketchbook and usually it's just because the paper quality isn't ideal for that sort of thing but with this one I've been able to answer questions quickly in my sketchbook. I've talked to you guys before about how I approach every painting whether it's in a sketchbook or not and so I'm trying to answer a question. So for this one, I wanted to work with a limited palette that used little to no yellow, so I was focusing on red, brown, and blue. And I also had this image in my head of a moth on one side of the character's face that would be slightly transparent, and I wanted to play around with those ideas without committing to a huge painting, without committing to a, a super large piece that was going to take me hours. This sketch took me about 10 minutes, and the painting process only took about 20 minutes. So the whole thing was only 30 minutes, and I was able to explore a concept and do it quickly and not have the quality of the paper stop me from answering my questions or helping me to understand the concept and also, to be honest, to kind of vent some emotions. I've told you guys in the past that I usually can't make art when I'm feeling sad or stressed or upset because it doesn't turn out very well and I've definitely been feeling a bit overwhelmed with everything going on just in the world lately. We're good and safe here and doing what we can. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot and it's been a bit overwhelming and I usually can't paint when I'm feeling this way, but I wanted to make a video and I wanted to share stuff with you guys. So this painting is also a little bit of a snapshot of how I was feeling on this particular Friday afternoon. Another thing I was really excited about, and it's something I love about sketchbooks, it just gives you the opportunity, like I said, to explore and to try things without massive commitment about, oh, I need to be able to sell this painting or I'm imagining hanging it on the wall or something. I was also able to play with this calligraphy brush. Now this is an inexpensive brush that came in a set that I got from AliExpress. If I can find the set, I will link it. But this is one of the brushes that I probably um, tested with all the other ones in the set, hung up, and then didn't use very often. But I used, I ended up using just the one brush for this whole painting, and I really loved it. And I wouldn't have known that if I was working on a more quote-unquote official piece. I wouldn't have even been able to discover how much I loved it, and I used it for both of the little paintings that I showed you in this video. And that's what I love about sketchbooks, is they can just be a place to try things without so much pressure and that's what I want a sketchbook to be and this one pairs up really nicely that freedom of exploration in a space that is mine while also having a really nice quality sketchbook and a beautiful quality paper that really just kind of fuels the quality of things if that makes sense. When considering potential downsides to this particular sketchbook the price is definitely something to take into account. I know that I myself can't always afford to drop $50 to $100 on a pack of three sketchbooks, depending on the size that you want. So when I am able to afford something like this, because I do want to pick up and try the hot press sketchbooks as well, it's going to be a bit of like treating myself and something that I have to plan for because I can't always invest like that, as I'm sure is the case for many of us. And I did find that you do have to be a little bit careful when layering on this paper as being too aggressive or scrubbing too much on future layers can cause layers underneath to reactivate. But as you guys know, I'm not super careful or detailed when I'm laying paint strokes down and it still worked really well for me while at the same time being able to kind of melt layers together when I wanted to. So it kind of hit a bit of a sweet spot there, but still something to keep in mind. Also, I mentioned before that this paper is 220 GSM as opposed to a slightly heavier 300 GSM weight. So it is great for mixed media if you're working with gouache and watercolors and pencils and um, colored pencils, I suppose, and even ink. It could be great for that. If you're planning to use this solely for watercolors, you might have to be a little careful with how much water you use to avoid 
um, excessive warping and things like that, but I didn't have very many issues, and again, I'm not super careful about how much water I use either, so it worked really well for me and dried relatively flat. Not completely flat, but no crazy warping or anything like super drastic. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed taking a look at this sketchbook with me. If you have any questions, please do leave a comment down below, or if you've tried this sketchbook or any of the Etcher Lab sketchbooks, I would love to know your guys' opinion. I will leave links down in the description. And of course, thank you so much to my members here on YouTube and my patrons over on Patreon. You guys are welcome to check out either of those platforms if you're interested in more behind the scenes weekly vlogs, as well as monthly real-time videos and sticker sheets over on Patreon and tons of fun stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this video and I hope you have enjoyed it and I will talk to you all very soon. I hope you're doing well and um, okay. Okay, bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.